Russia says hundreds of thousands of troops are getting ready to conduct the country's largest military exercise since the Cold War. A Kremlin spokesperson says Chinese and Mongolian soldiers will also participate in next month's war games. And that has U.S. allies worried. Correspondent Wyatt Goolsby reports from the State Department. Good evening, Wyatt. Good evening, Lauren. The full-scale military maneuvers come amid heightened tensions between Russia on one side and the United States and NATO on the other. Officials with the military alliance say they're seeing a more assertive Russia, which is increasing its military presence. NATO officials say the Russians plan to conduct major military exercises show Moscow is focused on large-scale conflict. The war games will be the biggest since Soviet drills in 1981. The Russian defense minister saying the five days of maneuvers in September will be unprecedented in terms of scope and number of troops. The exercises in central and eastern Russia will involve 300,000 troops, 36,000 vehicles, and more than 1,000 aircraft. In addition, China will send 3,200 troops and roughly 900 pieces of military hardware. The Kremlin spokesperson says Chinese participation demonstrates a growing connection between the two countries. Dmitry Peskov is also defending the use of state funds for the exercise, saying it's justified despite economic problems in Russia. The U.S. and many of its European allies have imposed harsh sanctions on Russia after a nerve agent attack in Britain. The first round of sanctions were implemented after Russia annexed Crimea in 2014 and backed pro-Russian rebels in eastern Ukraine. Russia's war games are likely to worry Japan, which has already complained about a Russian military buildup. Russia blames Japan for escalating the conflict after the Japanese installed a U.S. missile defense system. The Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe is scheduled to attend a forum in Russia the same week as the military exercises, September 11th through the 15th. Russia has invited the head of NATO to come and observe the exercises, but NATO has yet to respond. Lauren? Wyatt, you were there this afternoon for the State Department's press briefing. What did the spokesperson say about the military drills? Well, the spokesperson, Heather Nauer, did not specifically address the military drills in particular, but she did condemn Russia's rhetoric on Syria and had a lot to say about that. Both the United States and Russia are concerned about a possible chemical weapons attack in the country again. Now, the United States, Heather Nauer says the United States will not accept any more chemical attacks or the use of chemical weapons by Syrian President Bashar Assad, who's backed by Russia. Russia, on the other hand, says it's the rebels who are the ones who could potentially use chemical weapons. So the two sides seem far from a diplomatic solution. Lauren? Correspondent Wyatt Goolsby reporting from the State Department. Thank you, Wyatt.